Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily videos on artificial intelligence for your personal and business life. In this video, we're gonna show you two main plugins in order to take data from a PDF, extract it into a CSV. Now, before we dive into today's video, I wanna point out two main things. First thing is that little subscribe thing that happens at the beginning of every video. I went ahead and turned down that little ding sound. I did get some response in the comments, so we're listening here at Web Cafe AI. If there's anything else that happens in these videos that you know you find either annoying or you know hurts the value that you're receiving in the video, let us know in the comments, we are listening. So from here on out on Web Cafe AI, that little ding sound you hear in the beginning, we're gonna lower that volume. The second thing is while we were developing this tutorial, we realized that we have to make a distinction between simple use of plugins and advanced use of plugins. So we're going to go ahead and create a whole new playlist and we're going to drag some of our older videos that showed more advanced use of plugins into this playlist. And essentially the purpose of this playlist is going to show you ways to leverage ChatGPT and plugins, but in the context that we use multiple plugins within a chat. We're going to distinguish our content like this because a lot of our plugin videos just showcase one plugin and the capabilities that it has. But there are some videos that we've been doing recently and a little bit older on this channel that really showcase advanced ways to approach plugins. And we think they add a lot of value. Therefore, we're going to create a whole new playlist and we hope you enjoy it. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. The two main plugins you'll need is going to be CSV Creator and Ask Your PDF. In order to enable plugins, make sure you have a ChatGPT Plus account, then go into your settings and hit enable in the beta features. So to show this method, we're going to use an annual report by Apple in 2019. And as you see here, this is a ton of data. We're looking at over 100 sheets found within this PDF. And our purpose here is going to be able to extract specifically what we want from it. We're going to convert it to a CSV and then we're going to do some calculations on that underlying data in the process. If we keep scrolling down here, as you see, there's a ton of information. So the method that you're about to learn today, you can apply to anything or any context that typically involves taking PDFs and extracting a lot of data from. You're about to learn how to do that in a more effective way using ChatGPT and plugins. The first step to achieve this is first you need to make a Google Drive folder and let's make sure that when you hit share that anyone with the link has access to the underlying PDFs or files within that folder. Next, we're going to go ahead and come over here. We're going to say copy link. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Make sure you have CSV creator enabled and ask your PDF enabled. Let's go ahead and proctor this chat. We're going to say we are going to make a CSV out of this PDF today. We will be asking some questions on how we want it structured. And then we're going to go ahead and provide that link we got earlier in the Google Drive Hit enter. Okay, so we ran into a little bit of an issue here and I was at first I thought it was just an error. Then I checked every single popular PDF reader on the store right now. And essentially every single one says that they quote unquote can't read the Google link, but in reality they can. But essentially what's occurring here now is that all the plugins here that read PDFs are making you sign up with an account. I mean, this is obvious due to the fact that for their backend, you know, they obviously they want to have some type of data on the people using their service. So it looks like there is a possibility here that that Google Drive um, step and situation doesn't necessarily work anymore. Now, this isn't the end of the world, but it is sad to see that now we can't really just do it through that method. Now I have to create an account here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and click this. All right. So once you make an account, you can come over here, upload the underlying file here. And it looks like it wants me to grab the document ID that's associated with it on their back end. Here it is. We're going to go ahead and copy that. And let's go ahead and reproctor this question here. We're going to go ahead and delete that drive link, sad days, and provide the doc ID. Once we do that, we're going to go ahead and answer its first question here. And we're going to say, we want to extract the consolidated balance sheets. This includes the line items, their corresponding figures for the current year and previous year, and the headers indicating the years. I'm hit enter here. Okay, so after a couple tries and tests, we found the best way to extract data from a large PDF. As you see, if you were to just to ask for the consolidated balance sheets found within that PDF, it's going to search every single sheet. And this is not an effective use of our time. So the way we did a workaround essentially is we scoured through the PDF ourselves and then provided the specific page number. So in this context, we have find this consolidated balance sheet on page 31. And as you see here, it only did four API calls and then was able to find the underlying data. To find it fast within the PDF itself, all you need to do is Command F. And for us, we just typed in balance sheet. And then if we enter a couple times, we would essentially find this part that says on page 31, the balance sheet exists here. So if we go down to 31, we see it right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and further proctor this. We're going to say now we want you to follow this for our CSV. And I got two blocks here. 
So this might seem like a lot of text, but the way we're going to do this essentially is that once we've really proctored the chat, when we do future PDFs, we won't have to really, you know, guide it in this way. Just for the first one, we need to guide it so it knows exactly how to handle data like this. So what we're doing here essentially is we're asking that we want the CSV file to have the following columns, line item, 2019 amount, 2018 amount. Each row in the CSV file will represent a line item from the balance sheet and the columns will contain the corresponding figures of each year. In addition to extracting the raw data from the consolidated balance sheets, we want to calculate the year over year change in each line item. This will give us an idea of how each item has changed from 2019 or 2018 to 2019. We'll add two additional columns to the CSV file, change in amount and percentage change. Change in amount will be calculated as the 2019 amount minus the 2018 amount and percentage change will be calculated as a change in amount divided by the 2018 amount multiplied by 100 to get the percentage. This will provide additional insight into the financial performance of the company. Now that might sound like a lot, but essentially whatever context you may be using this process for, you would essentially really want to fine tune the first PDF that you provide. So it knows exactly how to handle every single PDF that follows. Okay, so we got our output here. I will say the first one had an error here. We just asked for it to regenerate response. I'm really excited. Let's hope this works. So it's not perfectly formatted in the sense we don't have dollar signs here, but I bet we could proctor it further. But from what we see here, this is super cool. I mean, we could have done so much more proctoring, such as maybe adding a color to specific line items, you know, change the amount if it's negative, put red, if it's positive, put green. Furthermore, we probably could have added so that there's a percentage sign on the percent change. Overall here though, this has got to be one of the coolest things we've done on this channel. Uh, you know, the fact that we're able to extract data from a PDF and then take all the numbers found that PDF and push it towards a CSV file like this. I mean, there is a plethora of possibilities on expediating work time for just this task alone. Now from here, let's go ahead and proctor a chat so that every future PDF we provide goes down this route. We're going to say, use these guidelines for all future PDFs we provide. Let's hit enter here. And this is just amazing here. So obviously this would be in the context that maybe this chat was fine tuned for annual reports for specific companies and you just upload the PDF and it will proceed from here. But as you see here, it's gonna take account for the guidelines and then it even walks out the steps of what's gonna incur. On top of that, we could probably even add steps here such as change the color of text, add the percentage side and so much more. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. If you want to learn more about advanced techniques when it comes to plugins, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're showing you all the ways ChatGPT and plugins can affect your personal and business life. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.